let's start off with this. How, why, why? When I say these two words, what comes to your mind at the moment? You know, what comes to my mind is uh, an opportunity mm-hmm. that that existed where there was huge demand but a <laughs> lack of supply. <laughs> That's what comes to my mind. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about why, why? To me, it's not just noodles. It's about uh, an entrepreneur's journey mm-hmm. where he saw. Uh, uh, Nepal is going to Thailand, bringing cartons of noodles to uh, our airport, and in the baggage claim, seeing cartons of the noodles coming from outside, and saying, "Hey, yeah. there's an opportunity in our country. Let's of do course. this." Uh, to me, that's that's when you say "why why," that's what comes to my mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, to when you say "why why," what comes to my mind is that "why why" a brand that is 35, 40 year old brand. You know, it's a brand that is today if not known globally, it's mm-hmm. known regionally very well. And that's a brand built by the students and the kids that went outside to study. Uh-huh. There are the real YY's brand ambassadors. Mm-hmm. They're the ones who made YY famous outside. You know, we went to boarding school. I went to boarding school when I was at the age of six. Mm-hmm. You know, we used to get YY. We used to take home from YY, but you know, I never used to have YY myself. But anyone tried that product, I was like, wow, mm-hmm. next time you come, please get me another carton. Mm-hmm. You know, okay, here, I'll give you Cadbury or I'll give you some other product. Yeah. Please give me YY, mm-hmm. you know, and just caught on like that. So when you talk about YY, I really, the, the real brand ambassadors of YY, the, the generation that, that grew up with YY, they took YY beyond Nepal. That's mm-hmm. what comes to my mind. You, th- there's a story that uh, I know. I don't know if a lot of people know this or not. From 1996 to 2006, we had insurgency at this time, right? There's a story of you, YY, and I'm sure a pickup truck. <laughs> Let's uh, this when the insurgency was happening as well. There was a moment in your life when, of course, you were in trouble as well, right? At one point with the Maoists as well, something had happened. I've heard this story. I really don't know much about it. Do you want to share a little bit on this? Uh, mm-hmm. You know, Sanjay, uh-huh. frankly speaking, uh, uh-huh. is one thing I'm really proud of. Uh-huh. But even throughout the insurgency, mm-hmm. right, throughout the civil war, throughout lockdowns, throughout yeah. curfews, our plants, and I'm not talk- talking about why, why I'm talking about our plants all across the country, has never been shut even for a day. Not no, even for a day. Not even for a day. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, I guess because, I mean, it's not only because of Maoists or anyone else. I guess they really believed that a company like ours was providing such large number of employment and was providing a wholesome meal for such an affordable price. Mm -hmm. That was a necessity in everyone's life all across the country. But I think uh, what I can relate from what you were asking me is, so when I came back to Nepal, uh, I was 19, 19 and a half, right? Uh, And uh, obviously coming in an organization, a company that was built by my grandfather, my father, uh, I'm just not going to get a desk. Yeah. For me, I need to prove myself. So what was I doing in the peak of the insurgency in 2001? I was out in the field. From yeah. Mechi to Makali, I yeah. was in pickup trucks. Yeah. I was in Tata Mobile vans. You know, I was going across all, all markets. I knew that after a certain time there was curfew or suddenly we had to go back to the hotel room after going for market visit because there was sudden shootout between the army and the Maoists. Mm-hmm. And sure, you know, that was one experience that I had. But... The on hindsight, during that time, the what I remember and what I take it to my heart and mm-hmm. the my best learning experience was not the fright and the chaos that was going into my mind because of this insurgency. Yeah. It was that that gave me an opportunity to really explore my country. Mm-hmm. That gave me an opportunity to really find out the nooks and corner of the potential our country has. Yeah. And today, you know, since the time I've sort of Step by step, try to prove myself within the organization. I've tried to get into those areas, you know, as a first mover advantage, and then try to bring world class products at uh, affordable rates here. Mm-hmm. That's what gave me an exposure at that time. Yep. Both sides again. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna still talk about this for just a second. Both sides eight why why you know <laughs> at that time, and you were out there making sure that it got delivered to everybody. If you love what we are doing, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. This program is brought to you by Vyas Studios.